We have an awesome computer with a powerful CPU. And you have quite a lot of games too, and you like playing games. But when you try to play them, your Intel graphics get this error. Or another one. Black screens, blocky 2D games, and graphics glitches. Uh, for a while, I thought, because of this, my situation um, was pretty hopeless. But, in fact, there is a really awesome fix uh, for this. Which I have to find. Ah, here it is. You see, what you have to do to make any game work is you have to open a terminal and type libgl underscore always underscore software equals one. Then you have to type the command of whatever you're going to play. Now, in the case of Software Inc., um, or the demo, actually, um, or any other game that's in a file, you have to type uh, the path of this. So to do that, if it's in your home directory, you type this character, then slash, then you type the name, you start typing the name of the folder, and then you press tab to complete it. And the backslashes have to go through the four spaces in order to tell the terminal it's there. And that tells you that that's the file. And now, when you do this, before this game had a black screen, you must realize it actually does something. Now, if you want to use a program that's on your um, computer that is in the menu like this, such as Steam, or any game that has Steam, you just start typing the name of it and try using tab to autocomplete it and see if it exists. In the case of Steam, you just type the prefix, then Steam. And now I will play the exact same game you saw crash before. The exact same game. So far, so good. And, voila, it works. Now, with this type of rendering, you have to realize it's very heavy on the CPU. So any game which involves a lot of simulation will go quite a lot slower than if you had a graphics card. Um... In the case of Gary's Mod, it does not have very much simulation, so you can do it uh, quite fine. Now, if I start a new game, you will notice that the frame rate is quite low. This will happen on almost any graphics, on almost any CPU, unless you have a super fast CPU. Because CPUs are not designed to render graphics, that's why you usually do uh, hardware rendering. Though, I find that this actually runs pretty comparable to my old integrated graphics. And on Gary's mod, with the graphics it has, it's actually playable by standards you probably have if you're trying to run rendering on a CPU because your graphics card crashes. Because otherwise, you'd probably just buy a really cheap graphics card. But as you can see, it is super slow and super laggy. But the important thing is that it actually works without crashing. And that is how you software render on Linux. And you can't do this very good in Windows, so 
It's a good reason uh, to be happy that you're using Linux. Anyway, 27, signing out, goodbye.